Hi, this is Cotton Candy TA, and welcome to the Beginner's Course Remastered Lesson 2 Accumulation and Distribution. We're now in the second lesson, and we'll be learning about one of the founding pieces in day trading accumulation and distribution. This is a term that we will be using going forward for the rest of our day trading journey. Let's start with accumulation. Accumulation can be defined as an area where a price accumulates, hence the name accumulation. An example of this would be maybe a stock is at $5. That stock drops to $2, but it doesn't go any lower. In fact, it actually stays at $2 for whatever period of time. And people are using that period of time to buy as much as they can. Hence, they are accumulating the stock at the best possible price. This is where the term accumulation comes from. It's when people are accumulating any given stock before the price starts to move in the other direction. Opposite to accumulation, we have distribution. This is where the price will do the exact opposite of accumulation and kind of reach a top. Maybe that $2 stock that we just bought in accumulation has gone all the way up to $8 and it's sitting at $8, but it refuses to go higher. This is where distribution happens. The stock is distributing because people are realizing the price, well, it just simply won't go any higher. So it's a perfect time to sell your assets. So in the cycle of things, you have accumulation at the bottom where price sits before it's about to go up. It goes up and then price distributes before it goes back down. Hence the ongoing cycle in stock markets that happen of accumulation and distribution. Now, when you're talking about accumulation and distribution in the markets, there's another term that people often use called consolidation. Consolidation is when the price moves sideways. People say that a stock is consolidating or it doesn't know what it's doing because it's in the middle of consolidation. This is completely wrong. The markets always know what they're doing. If something is an accumulation, it has simply hit the bottom of its price and it's about to move up. If something has hit the top and it's distributing, well, that's doing the exact opposite and people are distributing the stock before it goes down. Consolidation is typically a term that's used when people are not quite sure of what's going on. They'll say a stock is consolidating, meaning it could go either up or down. Again, this is completely false. There is no such thing as consolidation. The market always knows what it's doing. It's just whether you can see it or not. That's the only difference. So from this moment forward, we're going to start using accumulation and distribution in all the trades we do. We are going to tie this idea of a stock is either in accumulation or distribution into every single stock we ever look at and every single trade we ever take. So let's look at and discuss a few examples of accumulation and distribution. Accumulation happens when you either hit a level, hit a trend, or generally some area of interest where there seems to be a lot of people who want to buy. That type of offsetting of people buying is created again at levels or trends, an area of interest, we'll call it for now, as we haven't learned about that yet. And that will offset distribution and it'll create accumulation. So if you could imagine prices dropping, prices dropping, you hit a level, this stops the price, it keeps moving sideways and it's an accumulation. That point that it originally hit, that is where accumulation is first seen. Now that can either be a trend, it can be a level, it's just generally an area of interest. And we'll get deeper into that in later lessons where we can dissect these things. But for now, we just want to focus on what accumulation actually looks like. Now, remember, accumulation doesn't just have one point where it exists. If you remember what we just talked about, we said that accumulation kind of moves sideways before it goes up. Maybe the price is holding at $2 for whatever period of time. This could be a day, it could be a week, it doesn't matter. Well, for that entire day or that entire week, it is in accumulation. And that point of accumulation can be seen. Those spots where accumulation exists, it can be seen throughout the entire time. It's just that price will typically go up and up and up and up before it breaks out. So for example, the price may be at $2 in a couple hours, it might be at $2.10. Well, at $2.10, it's still at accumulation if it's about to hit $8, like in our previous example. It might actually even go all the way up to $2.20. And then it could drop back down to do $2.15. Then it may go up to $2.30 and so forth and so forth throughout the cycle of accumulation. There are many different points where a stock can accumulate prior to breaking out in the markets or moving up in a big way. So when we say breaking out, we also often say breaking out or breaking up. This is a point where accumulation has entered the ending stages and it's about to move up in a big way. Now, just a quick recap on accumulation. Accumulation typically happens at levels and trends, which we'll learn about later, and it can happen for an undefined period of time before it breaks out in the trade and moves up in a big way. Now let's talk about distribution. Take everything we just said and reverse it. It is the exact same thing as accumulation. It's just that it's happening on the opposite side of the chart. 
So if that stock that we bought for $2 hits all the way up to $8, $8 is where that distribution happens. And maybe that $8 target can go all the way down to $7.20 or even $7 and then back up to $7.90 and then maybe down to $7.50 before it falls back all the way down to $2 or maybe $2.50. That entire time period where it was at $8 to $7, that is all layers of distribution. Now, again, the exact same thing happens where it, accumulation has levels and targets and trends. Distribution has the exact same thing. You have a level up top. It hits your level, which is typically your target. You distribute your stock. If you miss your opportunity, it's going to drop down a bit. Well, maybe you get to distribute a little lower. Maybe you're distributing at $7.50. Well, maybe it jumps back up to $8 before it finally goes down to $2 and that $8 might be your distribution target once again that you get a second or maybe even a third chance to release your stock at. Therefore, you have the cycle of accumulation and distribution. Really, they are mere images of each other because they're the exact same thing. They just happen on opposite sides of the chart where accumulation happens on the bottom and distribution happens up at the top. Okay, that does it for accumulation and distribution. Not so tough, was it? However, there's a few really good tips I want to leave you with. As you progress as a day trader and as you get to the higher levels of day trading, accumulation and distribution are disguisingly used very well and happen all the time. These areas of accumulation and distribution are existing rampantly throughout every chart, throughout all time frames, and you have to master this idea of what accumulation and distribution means and how to see it at the highest level. So I'm going to leave you with a few tips. Let's think about that $2 stock for a moment, how it started at $2 and went to $8. This first area where it has moved up and down for the first time typically creates the bind of any one trade. So what that means is that after that $8 target is hit, it's going to drop and it's going to go after that $2 range, but it's not going to quite hit $2. It's going to hit some type of level just above $2. So typically what you're going to see is that $8 stock drops all the way down to maybe $2.50. And then at $2.50, it starts accumulating. And then like a mirror, as it is, that $2.50 range accumulates and goes after maybe $7.50. And then the cycle repeats itself. Maybe then it goes down to $3, then $7, then maybe $3.50, and so forth and so forth and so forth before it comes to kind of this intersecting point where it has to make a decision one way or another if it's going up or down. Accumulation and distribution alone by itself can show you so much on the charts that it can take you to being a top tier trader if you simply master this basic concept and as you go on, apply more advanced knowledge to it. It's a founding piece of what we do in day trading and it has many layers. So that's it for accumulation and distribution. I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll talk about levels and we'll be able to tie in accumulation and distribution with levels and see where accumulation and distribution starts to hit these levels. See you on the next one.